Placement test number one. Chapter one. Write a numeral for seven million thirty thousand eight hundred nine. So what are we going to do here? Is since we have three groups, we're gonna have seven million thirty thousand and eighty hundred nine. So it implies like you're going to have three commas here, comma, comma. And in each space here, you're gonna have to write your number seven million since we have gonna have three spaces one two three for each digit so set at seven here will be seven so in a thirty thousand well if i write here like this in a field with zeros that will be three hundred thousand so to be thirty thousand should be there in eight hundred nine eight hundred nine there we go now what i do with them i fill them with zeros however the zeros on the left don't have any value therefore your answer should be seven millions thirty thousand eight hundred nine problem number two in the numeral what digit is in the tenth place now, the tenth place will start here if we start here this is the ones place and this is the tens place. Therefore, what digits in the tens place? Number nine. The digit nine. Problem number three. In the numeral, what digit is in the hundred thousands place? Let's go to the thousands group. So the thousands groups is located here. And now, if since we know that it repeats the hundred tens and then the group that it is for example in this case will be thousands so the one in the middle should be the ten thousands place and the one far to the left should be the hundred thousands place therefore which digits in the hundred thousands place it will be the digit number six the digit six is the hundred thousands place In the numeral, what is the place value of the digit 4? Let's look how many groups do we have. We have two groups in here. 1, 2. So we're only going up to the thousands group. Now, the digit 4. Let's look in which group is the digit 4. Well, it's in the thousands group. Now, if this is in the thousands group, now let's look at the number fours we have three here three spaces for the two the three and the four and let's recall that they repeat this will be the hundred thousands place and this will be the ten thousands place and this will be just the thousands place therefore the digit four is in the thousands place Let's write the English name for the numeral. Now, to write the English name, all we need to learn is how to write digits with three numbers. So let's recall what the answer will be here. Since this is a placement test, you are supposed to know this. Otherwise, you will be covering during the lectures. We only have in two groups here, the thousands group and the ones group. Let's recall that these start with ones, tens, hundred, and then start thousands, ten thousands, and a hundred thousand. But since this is the thousands group, and this is just a regular one or the ones group, let's call it like that. These are the groups. So, how will we read this? We will read. Well, what number do you see in this group? I see a uh, number of eighty-five. So this is an eighty-five. 85 85 what 85 thousands and what number do you see here I see a 20 so therefore it will be 20 and we don't need to write the the name of the group so it will be 85 thousands and 20 problem number six we have to add these three numbers so let's align them together 
so we're going to have to add 28 107 and 20,000 so 1 2 3 4 there we go and we're going to be doing an addition now let's add them every column a plus 7 is 15 carrier 1 so 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 0 is 1 0 0 2 2 therefore your answer will be 20,135 now let's add this other number here so 7,825 now when we're trying to write these numbers uh, the best way to write them will be from right to left so the 186 you will start with the 6, 8 and a 4 and 666, 666 and the 9 will go here now let's add them 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 9 well this will be a little bit tricky so 5 plus 6 is 11 11 plus 6 is 17 17 plus 9 will be let's add what 17 plus 9 will be 16 carry 1 that will be a 26 but I cannot write a 26 here so I might just write a 6 here and I'm gonna have to carry a 2 now 2 plus a makes 10 10 plus a is 18 plus 6 is 24 and I have a 4 here and I'll have another 2 here 2 plus 9 is 11 plus 4 is 15 15 plus 6 is 21 and I'm gonna write a 2 here and I will write a 2 on top and then finally I will have 2 plus 7 which makes 9 and my final answer will be 9146 number 8 let's do a little bit of subtraction so 9000 372 so as we say we have to align it from right to left so 7 3 and 9 and then 28 will go here so let's subtract this 2 minus 8 well can you subtract 2 minus 8 no there is not enough to take away so we must borrow so to borrow this part here we will have the 7 will have to give it a 1 so this final becomes 12 and the 7 well since he gave it one to them it will be just a six so 12 minus a now i can do that so it will be a four now six minus two will be four three minus zero or minus nothing is just three carry down so nine minus zero is still nine therefore your final answer will be nine thousand three hundred forty four let's subtract this other number here so one thousand seven so seven zero zero one and three one eight and we're gonna have to subtract it so seven minus three is it doable yes we can do seven minus three is four now zero minus one i cannot subtract that so this zero might might ask the partner that is in the left uh for for a one but this has zero again oh well so this guy here should ask the one in here so well if you take a one from one that will be nothing that will be left with the zero here and now finally this guy here giving it a one this becomes 10 now since this is a 10 this can give a one to the other guy so it will finally become 10 so this is a 10 now 10 minus 1 should be 9 9 minus 8 should be 1 0 minus 0 is just 0 is nothing therefore your answer is 194 number 10 let's subtract 50,207 now we will use the same idea for number 9 that we have to carry because 0 minus 7 is not doable so we have to this 0 will have to ask him but this another 0 so we'll have to ask the other one is a 0 other one all the way to the 5 so this 5 will give 1 to them so this 5 will become a 4 and this will become a 10 and then this 10 will give you 1 so it become 9 and 9 and 9 so it will go that train all the way to to give this final 0 here further on the right a 1 so they're pretty much gonna cancel them all there we go and this become 9 9 9 
and this will become finally a 10. Therefore, 10 minus 7 is 3, 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 2 is 7, and 9 minus nothing is 9, and 4 minus nothing is 4. Therefore, your final answer will be 49,793.